welcome back to my kitchen and to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Debbie and this is my channel, Chew on Vegan. I'm a plant-based RN and here you're going to find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes with no oil. I've been on a mission to add as many veggies to my meals as I possibly can. I'm kind of making a game out of it. It makes it kind of fun just to see how many I can pack into any given meal that I'm making. And maybe you don't know about the principles of calorie density. Uh, low calorie density is how we eat on this uh, starch solution or whole food plant-based, no oil, whatever you want to call it. And this is how we're able to lose weight and maintain our weight. The only way that you can lose weight is to be in a calorie deficit. So the best way to eat low calorie density is to load your plates up with low density foods like veggies, non-starchy veggies, broccoli, green beans, anything like that, spinach, I mean big salads, all that is going to fill you up and then you also want to fill your plate with starches, whole starches like potatoes or rice and that way you're going to feel satisfied. You can't just eat veggies, you're gonna be hungry in you know 20 minutes. You need to eat those starches with your veggies and you will feel full for longer. And that's why in these recipes today, you're gonna to see lots of veggies. I'm gonna see how many I can just stuff in there and make my meals as low calorie density as possible and be able to just eat large volumes of food, which is what I like. So we're starting off the day with zucchini pancakes. So we're gonna have a zucchini in there, we're gonna have a banana in there. And just adding that zucchini into the pancakes helps lower the calorie density. And then lunch, I'm gonna probably just have, I'm not sure really, I think I'm just gonna make a really big salad. I've got some romaine lettuce, I've got some green and red cabbage, carrots, tomatoes. I might add some edamame. I make maybe like an um, Asian kind of dressing. Not sure yet. I'll see what the mood strikes me at lunchtime. And then dinner, I'm going to be making some uh, creamy roasted tomato soup. And I'm going to get as many veggies in there as I can. And that way you're getting more fiber. And fiber is what fills you up. So I've already got some beautiful heirloom tomatoes roasting in the oven. And then I'm going to show you how easy that comes together. And I know in lots of parts of the world it's summer and it's hot and soup sounds terrible. But I love soup all year round. So if you're like me, you're going to want to check out that recipe. So I've already had my little coffee brew that I make. I use Four Sigmatic mushroom coffee, which has less caffeine in it than regular coffee. I can't do regular coffee, it gives me heart palpitations, but I can do this mushroom coffee, and mushrooms have so many benefits, they're amazing. And then I also add some dandy blend, which is chicory, and it's very coffee-like, and I use a little bit of my monk fruit sweetener, and then some soy milk. And now I'm hydrating with my electrolyte water. My sodium can tend to get a little bit low, so my doctor has prescribed this electrolyte drink for me, and I drink one of these a day. And it, this is 32 ounces, and I'll definitely be drinking more water than this, but I like to start my day with this, and it just helps get me hydrated and keeps my electrolytes up. I do go to the gym three days a week, and I walk every single day, um, at least six days, but I try for seven. So I am very active so I need to really hydrate. So now I'm ready to move on to breakfast and we're gonna start with those pancakes. These pancakes are gonna be low calorie density, low fat, but they're gonna be delicious. So I started mashing a banana and you wanna really mash it good so it gets kinda of liquefied a little bit. Now if you don't like bananas, you could use some applesauce, maybe a half a cup. If you don't like applesauce, you could always just do a flax egg which is ground flax seed, one tablespoon with three tablespoons of water, and just let it sit. But this is replacing our egg, and I like banana. Some people do not like the banana flavor, but I do. Up to you as to what you, which one you want to do. Okay, so this looks pretty good to me. All right, and now I'm gonna add the uh, zucchini, and I just grated up one zucchini, I put it in a bowl of water with a little bit of salt, let it, you know, the moisture get drawn out, 
and then I just put it in this dish towel and wring it out. You don't want a lot of moisture. So we just put that in there, and this is pretty dry. Okay, we're going to stir this around, get the banana and the zucchini all mixed together. And I am gluten free, so I'm adding about a cup and a quarter of oat flour. If you are not gluten free, then you may add whatever kind of flour you like. Then I've got some baking powder, cinnamon, vanilla powder, pinch of salt, and we'll kind of get this mixed in a little bit. And these are definitely going to be a chunky kind of a pancake, but they are yummy! Alright, now we're going to add some water, and this is another way to keep your pancakes low fat, is instead of using plant milk, just use some water. And I'm going to start with about a cup and just get everything mixed together. So it's almost like zucchini bread, but in a pancake. You could use this for waffles as well. Now I like to add a little bit of maple syrup for a little sweetness. Maybe like a tablespoon. And this will thicken up as it sits here, so you may have to add water as you're, you're cooking your pancakes. All right, I'm gonna go get my griddle and let's get going on this. All right, I have my beautiful Bella griddle. I love this thing. It's such a great nonstick surface. It's ceramic. It's really nice. Anyway, I have it on about 350, 325 to 350 is about what you want. And then I'm just gonna ladle on my pancakes here. And you can make them smaller. Okay, and just like any other pancake, we're gonna wait till it gets dry around the edges and bubbly, and then we will be ready to flip. So this is what you want them to look like. A couple more minutes on this side. So look at these beautiful pancakes. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm eating four of these, add a little blueberries for some fruit. Do not be afraid of fruit. Fruit is a great thing to eat while you're trying to lose weight. It's full of fiber, water. It's going to help fill you up. Um, so I eat fruit and you should too. All right, I'm going to go enjoy my breakfast and I will see you at lunch. See what I come up with. So I've decided to just make a huge salad and be good with that. But I wanted to show you everything I'm gonna be putting in there. I've got carrots, cucumber, tomato, red onion, green beans, edamame, orange pepper, and some parsley. And then for my greens, I'm gonna add some of this coleslaw mix. It's red cabbage, green cabbage, it's got a little carrot in there too. And then I've got a bag of spring mix. I'm going to throw my lettuce in, my spring mix, and I'm going to do the whole bag. This is, this is five ounces. I'm going to use my scissors and chop it up because you know one of my pet peeves, I can't stand big pieces of lettuce. It drives me insane. As I told you in the beginning, I'm trying to get as many veggies in as I can. So right here is eight, nine, ten. I mean, that's pretty good. Then I'm just going to sprinkle some of this in there. And I'm going to chop this up as well. Now this is just an example of what you can do. Of course, you can change all this up. You can do different lettuces if you want to do romaine, butter, whatever. Now I feel like this is a lot more manageable at this size. Now I'd like to add my dressing first and get this all coated. Then I'll add my veggies, a little bit more dressing and get it coated again. So today I'm using um, some ranch dressing. This is basically Plantiful Kiki's recipe. I changed it up a little bit. 
I only use, she calls for a half a cup of cashews. I used a quarter cup and then I did a couple tablespoons of cashew powder just to make it a little bit lower fat. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of this on here. And I added a little bit more milk to it, soy milk, just right now because it was getting very thick. And that's a good way to you know, help it stretch a little farther. So we'll give this a good coat. And I always make a mess no matter what. It's just the way it goes. All right, let's just start with some carrots. And yes, this is a huge big salad. I will be absolutely stuffed after this. But there's like hard, there's like no calories in this. Well, not there's calories, of course, but very few. Now, I'm not going to eat this whole bowl at the one sitting. I doubt it. But I'll eat a lot of it and then I'll just save it and when I if I get hungry again, I'll just you know, eat some more. So now we have to have some starch, right? Or it's just not going to keep you full and satisfied. So let me go grab my starch. And I just steamed some Yukon Gold potatoes. You could steam any kind you like. I quartered them. I'm going to quarter them again, or have them, whatever you want to say. And they're so warm. I mean, that's fine. I don't care. All right, so I'm just going to go throw these in. And then I'm going to add a little bit more dressing. So all the veggies and the potatoes, everybody gets coated, right? And then I'm going to put a little garlic salt on there. This is optional. And then some pepper. And we'll just mix it all up. And have a big huge lunch. All right, I'm going to toss this and then I will go enjoy my salad. I realized I don't really show you what I have for snacks when I do these what I eat in a day, but I do have snacks. Usually it's fruit and my new obsession right now are these cherry plums. Oh boy. These are so sweet and delicious and their season is super short. I don't even know if you have them in your area, but I get mine at Trader Joe's, but they're cross between a cherry and a plum. They're firm. Mm. They are so sweet. These are perfect, so refreshing, so delicious. And I'll eat three or four of these. Oh, they're delightful. So I hope you can find them in your area. Okay, so before I head over to the stove to start my soup, I just want to show you what we got going on here. I've got onion, carrot, I had a little bit of cauliflower I'm going to throw in, and then some zucchini. I'm also going to do some celery, but I wanted to show you something first. When I went to look at my celery, this is what I got. I'm like, okay, that's kind of sad. So if that happens to you, just throw your celery into a bowl of ice water and it will come back to life. Not 100%, but a lot better than this situation, okay? It's, it's got a lot more um, crispness to it. I'm going to chop the celery up and then, oh, I also wanted to show you my uh, roasted tomatoes, how they came out. Hold on. Look at these. Mm. These have condensed down. They're going to be super sweet. So these are going to go in our soup as well, along with a couple cans of tomatoes. Uh, I've got a fire roasted and then some puree and a few other things, but we'll talk about that over the stove. Okay, I've got my nice nonstick pan, a little bit of water on medium heat. We're going to add the onions and the celery. And we're going to let those cook for a bit till they get soft. I just like to get these going first. Um, I usually will do the carrots too, but since we're gonna, this is gonna be blended at the end, it doesn't really matter. But I do like to get these two going first. Now I'm gonna add some garlic. I like a lot of garlic. If you don't like this much garlic, then you can modify. I'm putting in about four teaspoons, so like four cloves. 
Then we're just going to let this cook for another minute and we'll add everything else. Gonna add our spices, which is basically just parsley and Italian seasoning. I'm not going to add any salt because the broth has salt and so do these canned tomatoes. So I've got a can of fire roasted diced and then just a crushed tomatoes. You can do whatever combo you want. This is just what I happen to have in the house. If you wanted to use all fire roasted, great. And then I'm going to add a cup or so of some veggie broth. And then I'm going to add all these yummy tomatoes. Oh, they're so good. Give this a stir. I'm also going to add a little maple syrup just to cut the acidity of the tomatoes. So maybe like a tablespoon. I'm going to bring this up to a boil. Then I'm going to let it simmer till the veggies are soft. And then we're going to blend it up. Then we'll blend it up. And you know I'm going to add spinach to this at the end, so don't be surprised. Now I'm going to use my immersion blender to get this all nice and smooth. You could put it in a blender if you want. I have to be really careful to make sure not to hit the bottom of the pan with this because I don't want to ruin my non-sticks. So. Now you could eat it just like this, or you can be crazy like me and put spinach in here. I've just got a nice handful of spinach. So we're adding even more veggies in here now. I also add, like to add a couple shakes of red pepper, crushed red pepper, totally optional. All right, let's serve this up and I'll show you how I top it. All right, soup is all done. Boy, this was a full day of food, some really good stuff. And I have leftovers too for the week, so. That makes me even happier. So I like to top these with these little crunchy little um, potato croutons. I just chop up some potatoes, put a little garlic salt in there, put them in the air fryer till they get crisp, and then just top your soup or whatever you want. So you get your little bit of starch in there too. But this is jam packed full of veggies and it's so satisfying. Mm, you're gonna love it, let's give it a taste. I also added just like a tablespoon of lemon juice at the very end just to kind of brighten the flavors. So that's something you can do too if you'd like. And let's give this a taste. Mmm. So yummy. If you want it completely smooth, I'd put it in your Vitamix, but I like it a little bit of texture. So it's just personal preference. So this is really good. And just that added spinach makes me feel so happy. More veggies. Mm. So, so good. Adding those um, roasted tomatoes just kicks it up to the next level. So I hope you join me in my mission of adding more veggies to every meal. Try to challenge yourself, see how many you can get into that meal. And as you saw with the pancakes, you can even do it at breakfast. You could add Riced cauliflower, just get some frozen rice cauliflower, defrost it a bit, put it in your pancakes or your oatmeal, and you're not even going to taste it. And you're just going to bump up that fiber, which is going to help you stay full longer. If you like this video, if you learned something, then give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you've made it this far in the video, then comment below with the veggie power, because we need to realize that veggies are our friend and that that is the key to losing weight is to really fill up on those non-starchy vegetables along with our starch. The two go hand in hand. Be sure to check out all the resources in the description box. I will leave the full recipes. I will leave links to anything that we talked about or I used so you can check those out for yourself. Just remember that all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet. 
and what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Join me next week for another video. Thank you.